How are you, Ms. Frida? I'm very good, Manny. Thank you. Oh, uh, and a your background. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much. And a big congrats on Books of Blood. It's a creepy and entertaining homage to the brilliantly dark mind of Clive Barker. Absolutely. <laughs> um, so first things first, Miss Frida, what got you interested in joining the cast of Books of Blood? Oh my God, reading the script. I mean, first of all, the script. Second of all, the character. The character. She is so interesting. The differences, the going back and forth, the different layers that she has. When do you get to play characters like this? Brannon and Clive just did a knockout with her. What actress would not be dying to, to get this role? And I have to say, when I did the audition, normally, you know, you go in and you tape the audition and you do a couple of takes. Yeah. You, you know, you think, ah, that one, uh, let's do this and this. Well, my guy and I, the guy I usually go to, um, we did the first take and then he looked at me and he said, and I said, it, she just took over. She just came out and took over. And I said, you know what? Let's go with that. Wow. It got, huh? it got me the go. <laughs> well, you have a natural maternal side to you. And Ellie is very, it's just, she's quite maternal. She's a town and country lady who loves her plants, plants and used to be a nurse. Um, describe her in your own words without giving a whole lot. <laughs> You are absolutely right. The, the root, if we may talk about plants, the root of Ellie, of everything that she does, her entire motivation is maternal. It is she wants to take care of other people, of other living things. They are precious to her beyond anything else. And that is why she says, gotta protect the garden. That's right, and weed out, uh, weed out the intruders. Yes. Didn't you say that? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and if that you've is... ever had a garden, you know that, right? That's right. She must protect her garden at all costs. Now, <laughs> walk us through the shooting process. Um, where was this shot, Miss Frida? Beautiful place. Oh my God! I can only wish when quarantine is over that you go there yourself, Nova Scotia. Oh wow! I always always have wanted to go never made the time and then after i got the role and figured out it was shooting there i was over the moon it, it we shot um our base was in halifax and then we shot about an hour away out in the countryside it is so lovely and the people there are so lovely the island is very small so if you go you can traverse the entire island in maybe two weeks you go to, uh, I mean, places that are just set aside in time, thank God, and people who are so hospitable, so wonderful. I, I very much wish to go back. Of course, COVID stepped in between, <clears throat> but I think it, it, yes, if you get a chance to go. I'll go visit. No, no, Miss Frida, are you a fan of Clive Barker? <laughs> no, it's too terrifying <laughs> for me. <laughs> I mean, I had, you know, with, with, I mean, being in the um, script, uh -huh. being the character, it's a totally different thing from being on the outside and being terrified and horrified, which Clive does so well and so sneakily. You're reading along and you're thinking, and then suddenly he slaps you upside the face, and I put down the book and I went, that's it. I can't go any further. <laughs> my um, my agent's assistant, she is a huge Clive Barker fan, and she gifted me a a book of his short stories. Not the book, you know, Book of Blood, yeah. but one of his others. And really, I, I it was terrifying to me. So oh. he does his job well. <laughs> <laughs> one quick question: Do you believe in the supernatural? Yes. That is great. Well, thank you so much, Miss Frida. Good luck and congrats again. And I can't wait for more books of blood coming up. <laughs> thank you, Manny. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>